as I watch the sun descending and the birds fly home to rest in the hush when day is ending that's the hour when I feel blessed smoking my pipe smoking my pipe like a whisper through the cornfield comes a gentle evening breeze at the doorway of my cottage I recall all memory Smoking my pipe Smoking my pipe Those far off places Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. Getting my match out. <laughs> Welcome back to another 31 Pipes, 31 Tobaccos, and 31 Days. They're, we're just knocking them out, aren't we? Today is day... 19. I almost thought I wouldn't get to be here with you. <laughs> not that I wasn't at home and not that I wasn't around my computer. I've been working on another project in my editing program and I was having a hard time pulling myself away. Though I've been enjoying smokes throughout the day. Well, hmm. You remember the first time we met? Trying to keep this one going. This is another Ian Walker pipe today. Uh, this one I got a little over a year ago at our uh, pipe club Christmas party in our uh, pipe swap. And uh, so anyway, it was, uh, it was fun. I, I lost it. I got it back. It, was, <laughs> it all went all the way around the thing. And I could not believe that somebody was getting rid that they brought to the pipe swap a northern briar and I was thrilled to death to get it. This isn't a, a regular uh, shape pipe for me. I do have a few of them but it's not one that I'm necessarily go looking for. Uh, just I don't know. I, I like, I really am happy with it. I'm happy with each of the ones that I have that are this shape. But uh, I can't say that I go looking for them. Using my old match safe. You know, somebody out there might recognize this crest. If you do, you can put it down in the bucket below. And uh, never seen an old match safe like this. Pops open. You got your matches in there. Close it up. But back in the day, the match heads were a little bit smaller. So they fit in the striker better. So it sometimes takes me a couple of strikes to get it. There you go. Now I don't really need it. You do have to use strike anywhere matches. So keep that in mind. And it's got a little, little thing there to hook it to your watch fob. Just a nice little watch, uh, match safe. You know, think back in the days before lighters, this was the standard. So, this uh, excellent Northern Briars, and you may have seen this tamper before. Leo gave me this tamper. Uh, the Lutrosaurus uh, sent this to me. Thank you, Leo. And uh, I've also got a little tobacco he sent me to try out, so I'll be getting to that soon. So, what am I smoking? Well, what would you think that I would be smoking on a nice, cool day? Uh, you know, a lot of people, they, they pull out their hot chocolate and start drinking their hot chocolate, right? Well, I decided that I wanted something a little chocolatey this evening as well. It's kind of rainy outside, cool. So I pulled out my chocolate mousse. Sutless chocolate mousse. This is a very strong chocolatey blend. If you're looking for a chocolate blend, this is the chocolate blend for you. Now, now they do have a, a hot chocolate also. And I'll just have to tell you, I really have not been able to note any clear taste difference between the two. I, I couldn't tell you. But 
Anyway, the Sutliff chocolate mousse is a uh, very rich, rich black Cavendish. Uh, it reminds me of another Sutliff blend, which is no longer in production as far as I know, which was called Dark Decadence. Uh, if you know Dark Decadence still being out there, let me know. I haven't really just looked around for it, but uh, I used to smoke that quite a bit back in the days uh, in Nigeria. And I can't find it anymore. And it was a good blending tobacco, too. I would use Dark Decadence sometimes to, to blend with others. But Dark Decadence was missing the, the chocolate taste. And if some of you remember, it's around this time last year that I really was in search of what I would consider to be my chocolate blend. And that was a part, too, how I ended up with the Norman Rockwell uh, portrait. Uh, I had it, but I hadn't opened it. And when I was doing uh, my search for the chocolate blend of, of my choice, uh, I had uh, opened up one of those Norman Rockwell tins. But this one, the chocolate mousse, is what I kept coming back to. I kept coming back to this one. I tried a number of different other ones, had a few people even send me uh, some different chocolate tobaccos. They were good. I enjoyed them. But every time I went back to this, it's not to say that one won't come along and knock this one out of its leading. It very well could. But this really ended up being the, the go-to choice. And so I'd say I smoke this probably every other day, at least every three days. I'll, I'll smoke this in the evening when I'm just sitting around. And um, I would say 75% of the time I'm smoking it out of this pipe. It's just a, it's a wonderful pipe, big bowl, uh, excellent draw as you get with the, really any Northern Briar. But uh, again, another Northern Briar pipe. Uh, Ian Walker is doing pretty good off of me, I guess. Even though I didn't buy this one. Well, brothers and sisters, thanks for stopping by. Till tomorrow, God bless.